करियर शुरू करते हैं ग्रेट इट्स नाइस टाइम टू स्टार्ट कंसिडरिंग वॉट ऑल वी हैव इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस इट वॉज जस्ट येस्टरडे इन द इवनिंग दैट नो यू अनाउंसड एवरी थिंग आई थिंक विल कम टू दीज बट लेट्स गो अ बिट इन द हिस्ट्री लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द जर्नी हाउ इट्स बीन Well, uh, 1988. So, if you saw it, it was this kind of a brick. Brick. <laughs> to be honest, a brick. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of a brick. Yeah. And actually, I started my life in the industry also in 1988, and also is de- developing the first generation of uh, digital mobile phone. Okay. And I, it's fair to say, at that time, no one in the industry believed what would happen. Actually, I remember marketing people were saying, by year 2000, in 10 years, there will be two million mobile phones in Europe. Oh. and we are saying these marketing guys they are crazy <laughs> it's insane because at the time these were bricks yeah. and they costed $20,000 and uh, the most popular device was of course the little pager that people had ah, that were doing yeah. uh, text I, rem- i remember dad having one just just yeah. getting the yeah. messages yes just the messages that's yeah. what the thing that people would have in enterprise and the big bricks phone they were for like very high end professional or cars people yeah. would have them in the cars so how kind of you know you make sure that whatever you're trying to make it's not just kind of fantastic in terms of hardware but also has enough options or enough optimization software so that the end user is able to take full advantage of the phone as you've seen we've put a lot of focus especially in the last 3 uh, 4 years on on one ui yeah. and uh, the, this foldable as you said we we started the foldable display technology 10 years ago the first time i saw it was 2012 in the lab it took us that many years to get the hardware to the right oh. manufacturability but also I started to talk to uh, Hiroshi uh, Lokaimo at Google and the Android team uh, like two years before the launch about what we need to do on Android to mm. enable for example on this phone if you start a session on the main screen uh, and you see that that thing you will continue you have seamless seamless continuity so yeah. that means we had to work with the Android team a long time in advance mm. to get the app uh, mechanism at OS level to open up the screen continuity its uniqueness lies in two things two words innovation so and openness mm. innovation means we try to touch all device categories and all use cases with amazing things like foldable displays and pans and amazing cameras as well as innovating the experience with things like flex mode multitasking multi window and that's at the core of what we are doing with the one ui yeah is basically from the onboarding and setting like you pair devices qr code or one click it should be connected so from onboarding the devices to connecting them together we are trying to get the complexity away from the consumer we have to do the hard jobs so from the customer point of view it just have to work seamlessly patrick what's your vision going forward very 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 casual very very casual simple yeah. keep innovating uh-huh. so uh, how we will keep innovating in a dimension that you expect and some that you may not expect so keep innovating so we'll make these things even more attractive compelling hopefully at some point there will be new devices coming into the ecosystem so we'll innovate each and every device category even on the on the smartphone you see we have we are working with people who have visual impairment or audio impairment as yeah. a priority yeah. and you will see that increasingly we try to make the ui much more easy and much more discover available for those uh, people my ultimate goal is almost uh, crazy is one day there should not be an accessibility menu because the devices should know and adapt to you entirely with intelligence that's, and ai i mean that's our big mission so yeah. i believe uh, full inclusion and accessibility is a key innovation area mm. and last but not the least i would say we can't not talk about sustainability oh, yeah. so by free things so the packaging is all sorted there is yeah. no entirely recyclable no plastic uh, the components what we do so actually these buttons you would believe mm. they are coming from uh, fishing nets which are uh, recycled from the sea so we recover fishing net from the sea plastic and increasingly use them for parts the glass is partly recyclable the aluminum increasingly components and last but not the least the life cycle yeah because uh, it's not about producing things so we make sure that people can use the devices longer for longer yeah. so five year security upgrade four year os upgrade repair capabilities so the increasing the life cycle giving people choice so yeah. sustainability is another big dimension for us for the future out of the, the the new flip and the new fold personally personally i'm saying which one are you more excited about oh personally uh because i'm i'm working so much okay so i i need this because i i need oh. a big display i need because i need the big display to read but this is uh, uh people tell me um, 
I'm getting all me. This is so cool. Because I must tell you, uh, whenever I travel to big tech expos like CES or MWC, I always go to the Samsung Displays booth, <laughs> and there, each year, I mean, it's something unique. So sometimes it's a rollable screen, sometimes it's a screen which kind of you know fold both sides. So what? My belief is that Samsung definitely has the technology, but is waiting for the right time so that uh, I mean the software is developed, the kind of you know entire experience is matured before we see such devices in future. Absolutely. Yeah, that's just one word for you. Like I, I thought, I thought you would say something. In Absolutely. Detail. So we are. Like, I was about to give you secret. There's a problem. So you talk about uh, all kind of new devices. Of course, we are preparing all these new devices with all this technology. But you say it's so correct. Yeah. It's not just having the new form factor or hardware yeah. technology. You need to think about: Is it meaningful to consumers? Yeah. Uh, what's the experience? Yeah. And can we bring with us the ecosystem of? partners, software developers to make the full package yeah. and that would drive the launch time. You all got some uh, you know, uh, amazing information in terms of uh, how Samsung has been, what Samsung is doing right now and how Samsung wants to be while we see you know, in, in the future. Thank you Patrick. Thank you so much. Thank you.